afternoon, folks. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I would have reported this yesterday, but I've been dealing with a theft of some very expensive prepper items. You know, a lot of people think uh, being a YouTuber, you make all kinds of money. Well, actually, you only make about a penny per ad that's viewed. And with the uh, censoring that goes on um, with YouTube, I'm probably lucky to get up lately about 3,000, if I'm lucky, maybe 5,000 views for my videos. So it's taken me a long time to uh, save up the money to buy the items that were stolen. One of them was night vision infrared or infrared uh, uh, night vision binoculars. The other one was my um, palm uh, radi uh, radioactive detect um, detector. That one cost me about $800. Looking up the uh, um, night vision binoculars. Uh, yeah, they don't even make them anymore, and I've only had them for four years. Yeah, fake Christians um, claiming to be Christians. Yeah, stole my stuff, and who knows what they did with it. I've been promised restitution, maybe. I told the person involved that I want it written in a letter, um, and I gave them until tomorrow afternoon to, uh, you know, do good by me. You know, you tell people, no, I don't have that much money. And they don't believe you. Oh, you're a YouTuber. You get lots of money. You have Social Security. You make lots of money. Greed, greed, greed. You know, one of my pet peeves is um, a liar. And if you're a liar, you're stealing the truth. And they also stole from me. So, um, yeah. Well, we'll be, we'll be. You know, God's got my back. They got a lot of bad karma, if you want to call it that. Um, that has already befallen them. And probably got a lot more coming. So I um, had the police out here today and I walked them through and told them what was missing. Another item was a, a tactical flashlight, a digital scale. Yeah, who uses digital scale? I bought it because I um, was sending out packages through eBay years ago. But we know who, or you should know who, what type of people or person would use a digital scale. The other two recent items don't make sense. It was um, two metal detectors that I had. So, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to move again. And because of my age, I'm going to have to hire somebody to move my stuff, save up first and last on security, and try and find a place that will accept pets. Selfish people. Yep, another sign of the times. Yeah, just like the Bible warns us. So, sorry for the rant. Um, but, yeah, look at this area where the earthquake swarms going on um it started out with a magnitude 3.5 that occurred around oh 2 17 p.m local time and 432 people said they felt it usgs gave an intensity level of four so intensity level four means it was felt indoors by many outdoors by a few at night some may have been woken up dishes windows doors were rattling Automobiles also rocked noticeably. What I noticed about all these earthquakes, for the um, earthquakes that did have a motion tensor ball, um, this quake, the fault line actually moved going northeast. This is the 3.5. Here's another moment tensor ball. Um, this is a 1.9. This here was a, um, a 2.1. This one here is a 1.9. Four. Yeah, that's little. But you can see how it's, like I said, that this fault's moving northeast. It was followed shortly after with a magnitude 3.4. This is the um, felt reports from the magnitude 3.5. Yeah, we got it all the way down here by San Clemente, up north by um, um, Silmar. And then we got it over here by Wood Hills. Let's see. So we're going closer. Uh, Rancho Camunga. Sorry if you're pronouncing it wrong. Intensity level 4. 14 people there. Um, Fontana. 140. Intensity level 4. And yeah, another one person there. Intensity level 4. Over by the core, uh, coast, Torrance. Intensity level 2, 1 report. Long Beach, intensity level 3. 
Huntington Beach intensity level 2. And you notice here we got the interstates. Yeah, right smack dab in the interstates. How much traffic is going through there every day? A lot. So we got um, Interstate 210 and Interstate 15. And this is probably 15 too down over here. Yeah, but you know, when I see the overpasses, yeah, you worry about um, any of them could collapse and how many people could be killed. And you know, any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. And all these earthquakes were really shallow. 2.4 kilometers. Let's go to miles. 1.5 miles. 1.8 miles in depth. Yeah, that is shallow. And being all in one location means that tension has built. Yeah, uh, for every action, there is a reaction. You probably got something bigger coming along. Let me take the names of the roads off. This is an area of a triple junction. And I got it drawn out in blue. Okay, this is where... We got the San Andreas Fault, the San Jacinto Fault, all meet up together. Look at that. See that? Um, that's the uh, San Andreas Fault. Down over here, we got the San Jacinto Fault. Over here, we got San Bernardino. Um, yeah. Not good. I've done other reports recently about this location and the different earthquakes. Yeah, you can see them all marked out here. Not far from here, back in 1992, we had a magnitude 6.4. Um, Big Bear earthquake and then, yeah, uh, Landers earthquake. That was an aftershock of the Landers earthquake. Because any earthquake has a, um, a chance of triggering earthquakes along another fault zone. So here we got um, the Landers earthquake, 1992, a magnitude 7.3. Molly, I don't know if you're watching my video, but if you are, I did send you a, a message here on YouTube that I did receive uh, the package that you sent to me with the coffee and the beautiful, um, I guess you call it a, a, a sun catcher with the different beads and the driftwood and the chocolate. Thank you so much. Maybe later today I'll make the, the uh, Sasquatch coffee. Yeah, I think the pot's empty now, so I can make a fresh pot. Yeah, looking forward to that. Thank you, Molly. I'm, I am going to send out a thank you card to you tomorrow. Yeah, I got here late. It, it was delivered to the wrong post office box. Yeah. But living in a small town, they figured out by the name, maybe the box that it was originally put in, they go, that's not my name. Um, yeah, they figured out where it was supposed to go, and I did get it. Took an extra week to get it, I think. But thank you, Molly. That was so nice of you. But anyways, be earthquake prepared. Be as prepared as you can. I often think about uh, different times throughout the Bible, how God opens up the windows for those who do what they can, and then he'll take care of the rest. And I think uh, what was taken from me, yeah, he'll, he'll replace it. I'm not worried about that. Um, so anyways, I don't want to go into a lot of details, but Yep, I'm going to have to move again. That's what the police officer recommended that I move. Yeah, people will take advantage of people who are, you know, have a kind heart and we're willing to help others. And yeah, you think you know people and then you find out that, yeah, they're a fake Christian. They're not who they say they are. So anyways, be earthquake prepared. Do what you can. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.